Oh, 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 I hit that hard. Oh, nearly hit that tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel folks As you're all aware I messed up my Fox 38s I'll post the crash down here oh, Jesus um, Messed up the hand pretty good Burst the full right hand uh, leg on the fox, oil and air was everywhere um, so today one of the boys for DV8 cycles has hooked us up with a set of 38s to get his back riding again because it's hell on earth being after the bike and you know I love making these videos so Tom's kindly sorted us out with a set of 38s so uh, we're a wee bit lost just now we're trying to find DV8 cycles um, but I will head in there we'll get the, the fox, we'll get them fitted to the bike then we're heading over to um, Brayfoot Bay to hook up with Mark Ramage. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare week. Don't forget as well, guys, you can get yourself 20% discount on the Citrus Eyewear website. These are the stealth model glasses. Um, get yourself a wee steal for the, the sunny weather coming in. I'll leave a link below. Uh, mental health links in the description as well. Yeah, so we'll get heading down, we'll get Tom, we'll get in, check out the fox and hopefully get riding today. We'll see he's done there. I hit that hard. Oh, I nearly hit that tree. <laughs> I balls that right up there, man. A back wheel tire tapped that step up. Right, one foot's in. <laughs> Ready to rumble, mate. Right. I'm getting out of control mate with the, the height I feel as if I'm getting I don't know what's weird <laughs> I've got a weird feeling going on right
I don't know if it's a rebound bet. I think it's, if you want to can feel me, I think it's the, the, the back's unbalanced for the front, if you know what I mean. So obviously I've normally got mine dialed, mate. And it just feels as if, as if this is a way up there. Ah, there you go, mate. Ah, that feels much better, mate. Ah, it's a big difference. <laughs> Easy mate. This one here? Yeah. Unclipped again. <laughs> oh, that line's good, mate. That is epic, mate. Is loose, mate. Three days later. I think it was a bad decision to have the, the jacket on here. It's a bit chilly in the car park, but two seconds into a climb, I'm sweating. So already, I think I need more, more air in the suspension. I feel it's diving a little bit. Oh, totally forgot we were meant to be doing the blue, but hey ho, we're on our way now. Oh, my feet are unclipped. We we'll need to tighten the pedals up because it's becoming a wee bit of a, a thing now.
Right, back up for run number two. And get the jacket off and the arms out. Get some vitamin D3 into the body. So these climbs, we're going easy on them. Purely for the fact that I do fatigue pretty easy. But it's just to conserve as much energy as we can and try and do as many runs as we can. For me, I think the big part of the enduro where I struggle is the climbs is getting to the start points the same time as or roughly thereabouts as everyone else. So hopefully a few weeks of repetitive climbing can help aid that. I know climbing isn't a big thing in the enduro but you don't want to be last rolling over the line. Well, saying that, as long as you roll over the line in time I suppose. But yeah, it's, it's challenging, especially for myself with medication and stuff, you know a lot of that holds you back. You fatigue rather fast. How are you doing, Ali? Ah, no bad. Try to get in shape for race season. <laughs> Have a good one. Nice guy. Pleasant to talk to you as well. Happy to help you out. Yeah, try to push it a wee bit in that climb. Right, round two. We've added more air in the forks. We've tightened up the pedals. And that's just becoming too much of a thing now. as early as I could there but it was too hot Gone. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> Nothing like a wee bit of celebrity moral support. <laughs> Cheers, Ali. <laughs> be that guys we tippled over and caught a lever on the branch um, just can't catch a break just now it's an absolute nightmare everything that could go wrong does go wrong but again got to stay positive we'll get this lever fixed it could be worse there's no as if it's as bad as last week where the forts just blew up and you know that was a whole world of hurt this is replaceable um, I'm pretty sure we'll get it replaced by the end of the week. It's just another expense that I could be doing without just now. Especially when we're out and the circumstances that that happened in. I wasn't doing anything silly, I just kind of tippled over a wee bit and... Yeah, 
and caught the level on the tree and off she popped off she popped, there she is snapped clean right off Magura really have got a lot to answer for a lot of, although they're really powerful brakes stopping power's phenomenal the build quality of them is terrible um, yeah, I've had nothing but issues with them pins falling out screws coming off leaking out fluid at Fort William this little look, connector in here has got like a little retaining spring or return spring I think it's called that was forever popping out and the lever was forever going floppy so Magura if you are watching yeah a bit of work to be done for your brakes I'm not really I'm a fan of the power and I'm a fan of what they do for you on the trails I'm a fan of the build quality definitely not but again we'll get this fixed we'll stick with the Maguras for the time being yeah, but I think somewhere down the line we will we will be looking at other brakes. Yeah. We'll maybe give the HC free lever a go. These are the HC. So we'll maybe give the HC free lever a go and give them a the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, I've just had a torrid time with them. I've just had a torrid time full stop, but I'm pretty sure we'll get there. Um as soon as the bike's fixed we'll get back up and keep this training regime thing continuing we'll see you in the next ride guys